for a church that claims to be godly and represent Christ, why would you have anything to do with the name of Lucifer at all? According to many sources that I've read, the telescope that the Vatican owns is called Lucifer. And I'll explain to you more about that in just a moment. In the catacombs of the Vatican, there is also a picture if you take a tour downstairs in the basement or the catacombs of the Vatican, there is a picture of a, of it looks like an angelic being riding a horse and he's in midair. And it is supposedly a picture of Lucifer claiming victory. Again, why would a supposed church that claims the name of Christ have anything to do with the name of Lucifer or associate itself with the name of Lucifer in any way whatsoever? The scripture tells us to avoid all appearance of evil. I have to be honest with you, if the pastor of our church decided to purchase a telescope and he named it Lucifer, or if we had a picture hanging in our church basement of Lucifer, I'd leave that church in a heartbeat. And I would confront our pastor and say, what are you having to do with the name of Lucifer? Why are we calling ourselves uh, a church, a spirit-filled church of Christ? and having anything to do in association with the name of Lucifer. This article, I actually have a couple of articles that I'm going to read you, uh, is from www.azcentral.com. And it asks here, is there something satanic about the Vatican's telescope? So I want you to look at this for yourself. And the sources I'm going to read you from are actually secular sources. These are not Christian sources. These are secular sources asking this question. Remember, the scripture tells us to avoid all appearance of evil. Why would you have anything to do with Lucifer if you're a born-again Christian, if you truly are claiming the name of Christ? Please tell us why, the article says, a telescope on Mount Graham is being named Lucifer. I don't mean to put words in your mouth or note as the case may be, but if you are suggesting that a telescope that is part of a project co-sponsored by the Vatican, Jesuits, and the University of Arizona, well, the Jesuits right there, the Jesuits are all behind this, so that shouldn't be shocking. Um, if you are suggesting that a telescope that is part of a project uh, co-sponsored by the Vatican, Jesuits, and the University of Arizona uh, has anything to do with Satan worship, you may be on to something here. Uh, so this goes on to talk about the telescope being named, Lucifer, being named Lucifer. There's another article from Popular Science. That's popsci.com slash science. So that's popsci.com slash science. Lucifer instrument helps astronomers see through darkness to most distant observable objects. Popular Science. So this is a, another secular source. And many will tell you that this is benign, it's harmless, that we're reading too much into this. I do not believe so. If you belong to Christ and you claim the name of Christ and his spirit lives in you, you would not name anything that you own after the enemy who is Lucifer. A new instrument with an evil sounding name is helping scientists see how stars are born. Now this is popular science saying, a secular source, saying that this is an evil-sounding name. A new instrument with an evil-sounding name is helping scientists see how stars are born. It's not new any longer. This article is a little dated, but I'm, I'm using it to show you a point here from a secular source. Lucifer, which stands for Large Binocular Telescope Near Infrared Utility with Camera and Integral Field Unit for Extragalactic Research is a chilled instrument attached to a telescope in Arizona. And yes, it is named for the devil, whose name itself means morning star. Hmm. Lucifer is part of the large binocular telescope, which happens to be right next to the Vatican Observatory on Mount Graham in Tucson. That's right, the Vatican has an observatory in Arizona manned by Jesuit astronomers. Now its next door neighbor is named for the devil. And this is coming from popular science. And I want you to see this, if I can blow it up a little bit for you. Actually, I don't think it'll blow up large enough, but it says now its next door neighbor is named 
for the devil. In Germany, they wouldn't have the same hesitation that Americans would have, since it's a very secular country. He said, I may be, this is the author of the article, I may be completely off, but that's just my hunch. For us Germans, Lucifer just sounds cool. Hmm. So, popular science is saying here, Lucifer instrument helps astronomers see through darkness. Isn't that interesting? Lucifer, light bearer, seeing through darkness. Twice in this article, they say here that it's named for the devil. And yes, it's named for the devil. And it goes on to say here, now its next door neighbor is named for the devil. Popular science. So let me ask you this question, and it gives you food for thought. This channel is all about planting seeds in people's hearts and getting them to do their own research instead of just taking what is handed to them from the pulpits. Why would a purportedly Christian organization claim to know Christ and yet own anything that's named Lucifer or have anything to do with the name of Lucifer? In her, the horror of Revelation 17 is fulfilled this word from Paul. They have an outward godly appearance, but deny the power thereof. Outly godward appearance, outly, uh, I'm sorry, outward godly appearance, but deny the power thereof. You can have a form of godliness, but not know Jesus Christ in a personal relationship. Unless you are born again, Jesus said, you cannot see the kingdom of heaven. Let me ask you again, why is there a picture in the catacombs of the Vatican named Lucifer, dedicated to Lucifer? And why does the Vatican have a telescope named for the devil? Apparently, most supposed Christians turn, turn away their, their head at that and call it conspiracy theory, when even a secular, non-Christian website has called it a name for the devil twice in their article. Open your eyes, do your own research, and don't just take what someone hands you. Prayerfully. Seek the Lord. God bless you.